I was born in Ottawa, Ontario, <laughs> on June 17th, 1929. It was, um, at one point, um, it was, a, a, I guess, a rose, whatever, a rumble seat in the back. I loved the rumble seat. That was my, my place. But in other times, it was a sedan, always with a running board. And we always went for a picnic on Sundays out in the country and went on trips during, uh, during vacation time down to the States and so on. And we went home for lunch, and I was discussing this with some former schoolmates at a little thing in September in Ottawa, and uh, they reminded me that we had an hour and a half for lunch, which was why we were able to do this, and my dad came home and we had dinner. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't a sandwich. You actually had your, your dinner, and then at night it was supper. Bananas, uh, because um, I would have a banana when we would go on that Sunday picnic. I would have a banana, uh, because that would sort of keep me quiet. <laughs> and I can remember that we would hardly be out of the driveway when I'd be saying, can I have my banana now? My mother occasionally made jam. Marvelous jam, come to think of it. <laughs> Reuse, recycle. Um, if you had stale bread, you made bread crumbs. If you had orange peel, you cut it up to use in other things, dried it. Um, pickles, the juice from pickles you used, you know, in, in making things. Um, most, mostly things of that nature. There was certainly, there was no plastic and, and, certainly, and there weren't all that many tins. My mother didn't go for um, canned, because I can remember a Campbell's tomato soup and occasionally canned peas. Those were the two cans I remember ever in our house. The rest was fresh vegetables and things. I would go to the grocery store in the morning, or the butcher shop in the morning, and this is <clears throat> from the time I was about six until I was, say, eight, nine, whatever. On en route to school, I would go with my little note to the butcher, and then I, he either would deliver or I would pick up whatever and take it home. And so it was a matter of... Uh, just you know, eating what was there, not um, not having uh, having a freezer full or a fridge full of things. But you know, people did not have a shower every day and wash their hair every day and uh, those things. So uh, probably it was the the Saturday bath and shampoo when when I was a kid. I, that's the way I remember it. We always had a furnace. I don't know what went into it. Well, coal went into it because they would, uh, there was always at the basement level when we had a house, at the basement level there was a, a window and the coal people would come up and shovel the coal down into a, um, a, a little bin sort of thing. You'd say, have your breakfast, and, and, and this is during the summer or on weekends, whatever, and say goodbye. And you'd go out, and then at noon, all the mothers would stand and call, and you'd run in, and you'd, you know, have have dinner, lunch, whatever, um, and then you'd finish, and you'd go out, and then, <laughs> and and summer, you could even go out after supper, until about say eight o'clock at night, and you stayed, you could roam as long as you stayed in your own block.